Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to configure Jenkins to, to deploy a war using Tomcat. I'm gonna do it from the scratch so you can see all the steps. Um, what I've done uh, is the Jenkins and the Tomcat configuration. Uh, there you can see the links uh, to my videos where I explain how to do that. Basically I have the port 8081 for Jenkins and the port 8080 for Tomcat. And the user and password uh, that I use for Tomcat. Here I have the links. So this is my EC2 instance, Jenkins Tomcat. Here you can see the public DNS. This is Tomcat. So you can see that I haven't deployed any war yet. This is Jenkins. It's completely empty. Uh, okay, but in order to deploy something, I need an, a project. So I create an empty Spring REST example. This is an empty Spring Boot REST project that uses Tomcat. I just created for the Jenkins deployment. So I expose just one method. You can see here the project is really simple. It has an entry point, a Spring Boot application. And here is the controller. I just uh, received the user ID and print this variable. So it's working. So I run here and we can check that at least in localhost it's working okay so okay uh, so here is localhost it's a get okay we continue about jenkins uh, beforehand i already installed one plugin because it takes a little bit if we go here we will install it uh, we search for container so this one, deploy to container plugin. I'm gonna explain the steps, but I already installed, so I have it here. And yeah, and that's all. So everything is empty, so let's start. Okay, so we have Jenkins, we have Tomcat. Now we need uh, uh, this is the this is the machine. So we need uh, the software and plugins to install first Git. So we install Git. Install git. Okay, we say yes. Everything is done. Then we need to know the installation path. We can use or which or where is command. So it says it's in user being git. So I put there user being git. We we are gonna need it. Then uh, we need to install at as well Java 8, but uh, uh, we are gonna install automatically from Jenkins tool configuration. Then Maven, as well, we are using the Jenkins tool configuration. Uh, and this, deploy to a container plugin, I already installed and I, I already show you the, the path. After you install that, you need to restart Jenkins, but uh, I already done that. So the project, uh, this is a GitHub link, so you can download it if you want. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm using a GitHub account, so I'm gonna use mine now. So let's go to the Jenkins web configuration. First, we need the installation of Java. So we go to, where is Jenkins? Here. So we go manage Jenkins. Uh, global tool configuration okay it is a JDK we don't have we are gonna add one uh, let's check the we put Java 8 and we check this install automatically so we download the last one it's okay we agree and we enter our username and password. Uh, I think mine is. I've already created an account in, in Oracle. Um, my password is. Okay. It's not now. Close. Okay, I already have the already entered the username and password you can create an account in Oracle just to download the git so the next step so we have Java then git uh, 
okay we put the user being we put the path so where is the path oh, sorry the path is here I need to copy this okay I put default okay. you can put in any name git so the path here no we don't want to install automatically and we are not using gradle and uh, maven so here as well we put maven so here is maven3 and the version maven3 yeah. what else when we we apply and save what else do we need uh, actually let's check the other the configure system is the same I mean the default configuration that we have so now then we are gonna create the the job so in this you can customize these attributes but until now it's it's the same so let's create a job so we click here okay so we create a Jenkins test Uh, okay, no, prefer the Okay, just I don't want it to change the name. Okay, we create a freestyle project. The okay. Yeah, we click OK. We need this URL. Uh, I guess it's this one. Yeah, just this one. Okay, we need the URL of the project because we are using Git. So we click here. We copy the URL. We don't need it, but here, this is the important one: the Git, the source code management. So here we say we are gonna use it, Git. This is the repository. So we are gonna add a credential. Okay. Well, okay. So this is my Git credential. Mm. We add. Not now. So we put here. Okay. The, the branch. So this in this case is master. Then the we need to configure the build. So first, uh, for build configuration, we, we have delete workspace and the Maven goal, that it's clean install. So, um, where is this? Build triggers nothing, build environment, this one. Delete workspace. Actually, it's with environment. Yep, and the other one is the, the build we create a Maven. So invoke those 11 Maven target. So we say this is Maven tree and this is clean install. Ah, you can put all the variables, all the goals that you have. For example, skip test through. Then we need a post build configuration. This is the now we are gonna use the, the plugin. So it's target so here uh, what is deployed to a war here so we copy target studies dot war uh, empty the the context path of the project is empty spring rest so let's copy the context uh, empty spring res empty spring res the container tonk uh, this case tonk at seven Mm. 
uh, what else uh, we use the username and password and the URL ah, okay they change the interface username admin the password that I configure for this one got it's as admin and admin not now so it's this one the Tomcat URL is this one so let's copy this oh, what is this with the HTTP and the port oh, let's see oh, yeah. so we put the HTTP uh, we need the port 8080 80 and the slash what else and uh, delete workspace when the build is done yeah, just to save a space we create other post build uh, delete workspace okay yeah yeah everything is marked so let's check is if everything is okay so the project name is Jenkins the, it's a GitHub project we configure git we put our credentials, we specify the branch. Uh, in the build, we delete the workspace before the build. And we are going to perform a clean install Maven goal. Uh, the post build actions will be to deploy the war. Uh, the folder is this one everything, every war inside the target uh, folder. The context path is empty, a spring rest. We provide the credentials and the URL. And we delete the workspace when the build is done. So we click apply and save. Okay, so we have our our job, and we click uh, okay. Let's build. So in order to test that, uh, we're gonna check here if it appears. Uh, Something happened. Did I click? Yeah, it's it's building. Let's wait a second until it finishes. Well, by the way, we can copy this path. Then the oh, I have it here. The context. Because target I can put here. Okay, so it worked. So let's check here. Okay, it's blue. It worked. And let's check here if the word is here. Okay, empty spring rest. The word is here. And yeah, um, that's all. Thank you for watching.